Let's get an example about supply and demand. So here we have the price, one, two, three, four, five. The quantity demanded at price one, it's 10. If the price increases from one to two, quantity demanded will be lower, so it will be eight. Then we have six, four, two. Quantity supplied at price one is two. If the price increases from one to two, quantity supplied will be higher four, and so on. Six, eight, and 10. Let's draw both supply and demand. So our y axis will be the price, x axis will be the quantity, and we'll put the tickers here, two, four, six, eight, 10. For the price, it will be one, two, three, four, five. For the quantity demand at price of one, we have 10 units. And then at price of two, it's eight units. At price of three, six units. At price of four, four units. At price of five, two units. Let's connect all the dots together. It will give us our downward slope demand curve. Why it's a downward slope? Because we have a negative relationship between price and the quantity demanded. If price goes up, quantity demanded will be lower and vice versa. Let's draw the supply curve. At price of one, quantity supplied is two. At price of two, quantity supplied is four. At price of three, quantity supplied is six. At price of four, quantity supplied is eight. At price of five, quantity supplied is 10. Let's connect all the dots together. This will give us our upward supply curve. So let's look at the table first. Can you tell me where is our equilibrium point? So what do mean by equilibrium? It means that quantity demanded is equal to quantity supplied. So if you look here at the table, you discover that at price of three, our quantity demanded is equal to quantity supplied is equal to six. And that's why here we call it equilibrium. So our equilibrium price is three. Our equilibrium quantity is 6. Why? Because quantity demanded is equal to quantity supplied. Can we get it from the graph? Yes. If you look here, where is the point of intersection between the supply curve and demand curve? It will be the point here where we have equilibrium price is equal to 3 and equilibrium quantity is equal to 6. So this is our equilibrium quantity and equilibrium price. So we can get it either from the table or from the graph. So now let's look at the table. What will happen if we have a price level above our equilibrium price? Our equilibrium price is three, but we'll have a price at four. So at price of four, it will intersect with the demand curve, and this will give us a quantity demanded of four. Then it will intersect with our supply curve, and it will give us our quantity supplied of eight. Therefore, we know that the quantity supplied of eight is bigger than quantity demanded of four. Therefore, what is the difference between quantity supply and quantity demand? Quantity supply 8 minus quantity demanded 4, 8 minus 4 is 4 units. So this means that we have excess supply, which means we have a surplus of 4 units. What will be the impact of a surplus? Every time we have a surplus, this would result in lower prices until we reach equilibrium. Let's get an opposite example. What if we have a price level below equilibrium? For example, at 1. Our equilibrium price is 3 and we have a price level at 1. It will intersect with our supply curve and it will give us quantity supplied of 2. It will intersect with the demand curve and it will give us quantity demanded of 10. I know that here quantity demanded is bigger than quantity supplied of how many units? 8 minus 2 is 8 units. So this means that we have excess demand of 8 units. Excess demands it means that we have a shortage. So every time we have a shortage what will be the impact on price? price will go up until we reach equilibrium. And this is what we mean by free market. It means that the market will correct itself by itself. If we are away from equilibrium, such as if we have a price level above equilibrium, it means that we have a surplus or excess supply. The impact of a surplus would result in lower prices until prices reach equilibrium. And vice versa, if we have a price level below our equilibrium price, this would result in excess demand or a shortage. Consequently, price level will increase until we reach equilibrium price. And this is how the market will correct itself by itself.